In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the that Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Come, Holy Spirit, fill the heart of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit to release what is right and just, and always to rejoice in His consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The proclamation, Amen. The proclamation of the Gospel from the book of Mark. Jesus. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went up to the mountain and summoned those whom he wanted, and they came to him. He appointed twelve whom he also named apostles, that they might be with him, and he might send them forth to preach, and to have authority to drive out demons. He appointed the twelve Simon, whom he named Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, whom he named Boanerges, that is, son of thunder, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, and the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon, the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. The word of the Praise, Praise to you, O Lord, Lord Jesus Lord, 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 Lord Christ. Lord. With the three pointers. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Oh. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay. yes. Okay. The three pointers for this gospel. Number one, when Jesus chose the apostles, he gave them the graces and power to serve and proclaim his kingdom in all that they did. Number two, similarly for us, when we serve him, we too will receive the necessary graces and power to do all that is needed in our service, which includes the challenges of, of trials that come with the service. Number three, have you been able to live the challenges of serving God in your ministry and in your daily living, especially when the trials are seemingly insurmountable? Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Lynn. So today's well gospel is about, about the, the calling of the 12 apostles, no? Um, and and if we notice, no, they are not they are not saints. They are from all walks of life. They have different lives of their own. Imperfect. So with all these imperfections, no? And then why? What are the qualities that Jesus saw in them? Sinners nga sila eh. Especially, ang uh, good example dito is si, si Matthew na tax collector. Bakit siya? Bakit? But bakit? Of all people, no? Bakit nag-choose ginpick siya ni Jesus, no? As one of the apostles. Because Jesus, no? We, uh, we uh, Jesus look at, look at us in, in a different way. Nakita ni Jesus ang, ang heart and soul siguro ni, ni, ni Matthew. Kaya tinawag siya. So, each one of us, no? Hindi lang ang 12 apostles. Each one of us have our own calling. And Jesus know us. He knows us by our name. All our personal lives, personal natin, all our secrets are known to him. And and yet we are called just like the, these 12 apostles. Each one of us may mga, may mga mission in life tayo. Kaya we have to, we have to listen no, to the calling. We have to recognize his voice. Na, ang, ang, ano natin is... Ito na ang calling siguro. We have to recognize the voice of God kung anuman ang calling natin. Kung anuman ang mission natin. And then, just like the 12 apostles, no, we are called every single day of our life may mga calling tayo. Different, different shape, different form, different intensity. Every single day, what we do is just listen to His voice kung ano ang calling natin. 
not regu- not regular calling mga, mga mga little things lang na calling sa daily life natin so we we don't have to be uh ano um it is it is um it is a blessing no na kung kung we are called and we recognize the voice of God no and then we recognize na ito ang calling natin so what we do is pray always pray and and when we pray no and ask for what is our mission for for the day maski na for the day lang we have to we have to recognize the voice of God kung saan tayo dalhin for the day day to day ang ano natin eh ang calling natin day to day so um let us all um, pray and discern, pray for discernment if this if we heard something if we hear a voice is it god calling us or it is something else kasi kasi very ano eh, very chaotic ang world ngayon ba so maraming voices talaga fake voices ang iba that's why we have to pray kung ano man ang kung ano man diyan sa mga calling sa mga voices na narinig natin kung saan diyan ang voice of god calling us amen amen, amen. calling amen. can also the ah. calling can also be called vocation vocation and um uh Saint um, ano po si Maria Escriva said Maria. Yeah, said that um, our vocation is the role that God assigned to us in order for us to help in his work of redemption. So that means that even before we were conceived in the grand plan of God, after Adam and Eve lost paradise, God set into motion his plan of redemption. And um, from there on, Everybody, all of his creators, had been assigned or allotted a role to play so that the overall plan, the redemptive plan of God, may be implemented to success. Okay? So, that means that um, everybody, everyone has a vocation. All of us has a vocation, okay? Uh, what is the primary vocation that we have? Like, if we define ourselves, if we define ourselves, what are we? Like, for example, myself. If I define myself, uh, the vocation would be, I'm a mother. Okay, that would be I'm a mother. I was I was born to be a mother to my children. Okay, and in preparation for that motherhood, God sent me to school. Okay, <laughs> gave me gave me work so that I can bring up my children. Okay, to be good people, and in order for them to be able to play out their role in God's plan of redemption properly, right? So um, then we, we, we think, if this is my vocation, how does it contribute to the vocation of others? And then um, this saint said that sometimes in the pursuit of our vocation, we know or we we have identified what it is that we really want, okay, to do with our lives. And, and so um, God, God will give us the grace. God will give us the, the guidance always 
because he wants us to contribute to the work of, uh, of redemption, of salvation of souls. So, um, but sometimes uh, God calls us, God calls us like, uh, dito ka muna. Okay, something, something that in addition to, to our role, that's what you were saying, I think, like MJ, about the calling, okay? Uh -huh. Sometimes we get other callings, okay? And uh, Saint Escriba said that um, when we hear this calling or when we sense this calling, sometimes we are not ready for it because maybe we are in a state of sin and so we really cannot see it for what it is, okay? And then so uh, we respond to it haphazardly, uh, but he said that uh, the supernatural response to it is a yes, simply because we want to. No other reason. For example, if if you feel the the inclination or the urge or uh, the calling to help in church, for example, to volunteer or to do this or that, okay, or somebody asks you to do something like that, if your answer is a pure and simple yes, and the reason why you said yes is because you want to do it. That is a supernatural decision. But when you say yes, because at the back of your mind, this is one way for me to make connections, get in touch with my friends and so on, then that is not, that is not what God wants us to wants us to do okay so and that means when we do that that means we are not ready for the calling yet okay now in in the gospel um that's uh interesting right because if we if we read it we think that uh we will we should realize i think we should realize that all of them were called and they were called because they were chosen. They were chosen first, and then they were called. And Judas Iscariot was chosen, and he was called mm -hmm. because he had a vocation. He had he had a role to play. If there were no Judas, nobody would have betrayed Jesus, and Jesus mm -hmm. wouldn't have gone through the passion and death and resurrection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, so, so this is iba, all. Iba lang, iba lang ang role niya. Mm -hmm. That's, that's Pero vital din. Vital. And vital. then, you know, ito yung, ito yung, yung, this book I said, oh, hindi pa dumaka, hindi pa dumadating. About the lives of angels, uh, not angels, lives of saints and so on. Um, St. John, you know, St. John, he was, he was uh, leaning back on Jesus's, uh, Breast. Yeah, the beloved. The beloved. Uh -huh. Yeah, the beloved. When, when, um, when Judas stood up, because Judas actually was assigned that his role in the in in the group of the apostles was is the one doing the grocery. I mean. He's the uh, one who's bursting the money and uh, uh, all the chores. Finances, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, they were planning to have the, uh, the the last supper. So they needed food. And so Judas uh, went out to buy. Okay. And Jesus said, go and do what you must. The, the other apostles thought that Jesus was telling him, go and buy the food. The grocery. Oh. 
go and buy the food. But it was different. Go uh -huh. and do what you must. And then, according to to um, Saint John, the beloved. Okay, when when uh, Judas went out of the room, uh, he was engulfed by the darkest shadow that he had seen. Evil. Mm -hmm. uh, surrounded. He, he was he was uh -huh. he was swallowed by the darkest the shadow. Dark. Uh -huh. yes. So uh anyway that means really that um whatever our vocation is we cannot run away from it because it's designed to be that uh -huh. we have a role to play uh -huh. we have a role to play and it is up to us to decide because we have the free will if we have the free will huh? mm -hmm. it is up to us to decide how well we play the role we might refuse it, but still, it's going to run after us. <laughs> I believe in that. Amen. I believe in that. Uh, Tita course, yes. no, na, na before, before, even before we were born, no, we already had a mission. Mm -hmm. mission na tayo, huh? But we have, yeah, it's true, and we have the option to say no or yes, no. But if you are really, if you really have that mission, no, by hook or by crook, in one way or another, talagang ma perform ang mission na yan. You cannot run away with that uh, mission. So what we do is just uh, um listen to the word of God, to your calling, and do it right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do it right. Uh oh, so we don't know, no, we don't know, but. But in our stage of life na ngayon, no, na 70s na tayo ngayon, no, if we look back, no, we have so many, so many missions talaga. We have so many missions. And mission, uh, ang mission, uh, like, like motherhood is a mission, like a professional, uh, whatever, mission yan. And if we think, no, if we think, um, um, it's all to glorify His name. Mm -hmm. It's all to glorify His name. Or to be part or to be part of spreading the good news, spreading the good news, and uh, and um and we are also warned, no, na once we follow Jesus, so just like the twelve apostles, no, the road, the roads, the roads ahead are are not easy. We will be chased. We will be. We will be. And we will be faced with the uh, with the trials, with opposition, yeah. and uh, sometimes you know persecution. So expect that, expect those things, no, in any form or shape, no, whatever, opposition and hardships. Kasi life is not easy. If we look back, no, at our st uh, stage in life natin ngayon, no, if we look back, life life is not easy. That, we have a lot of trials and uh, trials and challenges ba? But if we stick to our mission as being a good mother, motherhood, be a good mother. Like a daughter, be a good daughter. The good example is Tita Helen. Tita Helen, an um, example of being a good daughter. Yeah. Tapos being a good doctor, being a good uh, professor, being a good neighbor, being a good whatever. Yun ang mga mission natin. Yun ang mga calling natin. And then I want to repeat this no na I, I love repeating this uh, scenario no, na, na at the uh, 17 and uh, 69 yata, late 60s, very late 60s and early 70 na, na form natin ang ministry na ito. It's a, it's a great, great calling. Great, great calling and mission initiated by, you know, Tito Elmer talaga ang nag-push. Siya talaga ang nag -push. Nang, nang, nang ito. And because of uh, his own calling, before he was taken away from us, his calling was to be to, to lead the group and really push every each and each and every one of us to be pushed. Na talaga pinipilit na to the extent na kung, kung minsan is nakaka 
kung minsan is na misunderstood natin by especially me na, mis, na misunderstood ko kung minsan na talagang very pushy ba kaya pala he has he had this mission na dapat i-accomplish niya na, na dapat i, i, i ano niya i materialize niya yun ang for the last the last uh, uh three years of his life but so. you see you see um all the more that uh, we we should believe that um uh, our role had been mapped out even before no before uh -huh. Because uh, Tito Elmer, Tito Elmer was born into a very prayerful family. Si Mamang, <laughs> mm -hmm. always, always uh, said Mamang. <laughs> yeah, very prayerful father, uh, family. He was almost a priest. Uh, become uh, he was almost become a priest. Oh, okay. so, pinuntahan niya ni Father Father Rodriguez sa bahay. Gin ask permission sa nanay. Na gusto, oh. gusto ni Father Rodriguez is magiging uh, uh, Agustinian priest. Yeah, yeah, priest. Uh -oh. <laughs> Pero because of free will, wala siya. <laughs> because of the free, free will of the mother, eh, only, only son nga lang eh, magpapari pa. Eh, ta tapos during the time sabi ni Tito Elmer, ayaw niya. During time. Pero, pero I don't know, more than once siguro na pumunta si Father Rodriguez sa ma to meet the mother and to see the mother and to talk to the mother of Elmer. For mm -hmm. him to be, ano, ginakonvince. Yun ang sabi niya sa akin. Pero free will, wala siya. Pero in the last few years of his life, no, mm -hmm. parang pare na rin siya. Yun na oh, nga. So oh, you cannot oh. run away from it. Exactly. You cannot run away from it. Oh. Unless, unless you really go to the other side. Yeah. Uh, Yun. But uh, if you open yourself, and in his case, he opened himself because he he's really, he was born into a very religious family. So he was open. Open to God's prompting. That's why he was able to accomplish the, the ministry. The mission. A mission, yeah. Yeah. May mission pa pala siya. So I I also want to to ano no to to mention no uh, the mission of Tita Helen being a, a very very good daughter taking care of the aged and aging mom. Your yes. great great mission yan Tita Helen. Saintly <laughs> mission ang mission mo. Tito Mani ganun din di ba? Tito Mani din ha. Oo, hindi lang siya natuloy ng pare. Ha ha. So ah. Hindi siya natuloy magpare. Hindi siya natuloy magpare. So ngayon is nasa, nasa ministry siya, tapos very active siya sa church. O yun din ang mission ni Tito Wani. O, kay Tita Helen, something happened in, in her past life. Something happened. Kaya pala ang, ang, ang mission ni Tita Helen, I think, is to take care of the aging mother. Yes. O, <laughs> o. <laughs> The third na yan si Nanay Tita kasi I took care of uh, my uh, grandmother and grandfather. They yeah, stayed in... mga aging, oh, aging relatives. Saka, iyan pa taligo kay Lula kang ano, sat oh. Saturday, taliguan ko. Oh. So, ang calling mo is a be a teacher, tapos be a mother, be a wife yeah. for a short period of time, tapos okay. is uh, taking care of the aging relatives. Yeah. Aging grandmother, aging mother ngayon. It's a big task, Tita Helen. <laughs> Very big task. Oh. Yeah. Lot of patience talaga kay nanay. Kasi si singing, oh, yeah. AM, Tita Pors, Kabi, oh. sit, sit ang kanta. Na. Tapos total oh. care pa. Total nursing care pa. Yes. She has to be fed, everything. You have to do everything for her. And that's a big uh, task, Tita Helen. You will be blessed. Mm -hmm. You oh, will be blessed that. with that. Uh -oh. Amen, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos tayo, ta tayong lahat dito is my mission. Tita Miga Belen, may mission. Miga Grace. Tita Grace, may mga mission tayo. So, and I'm glad, no, na may different missions in life tayo, no? Kanya-kanyang buhay, no? And then we 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 met again. If not again, we met. 
nagre-connect tayo different prayer warriors with different missions in life and we different past life before we joined this see yeah. orchestrated by God no and it mm. is beautiful it is yeah. beautiful meeting you is uh, and reconnecting with you beautiful priceless yeah. Just like Tita Linda, professor namin sa medical school. <laughs> Ngayon is praying with us. <laughs> terror noon. <laughs> Lahat na professor sa medical school is terror. Tapos ngayon, <laughs> ngayon Tita Linda praying with us, no with the, with her students, no. <laughs> oh nice. Ma no. Mabuti wala, mabuti wala dito prayer warrior na na na, na, na fail sa subject ni Tita Linda. <laughs> <laughs> therapeutics no therapy pharmacy no pharmacology wala sa awan ng juice wala wala <laughs> wala kang may no fail <laughs> wala talagang akong pinayo sa lahat ng sa inyo lahat wala wala no ay oh, oh, okay lolo kitumbing ang nagfi-fail lang tao ako no ah sa pag therapeutics no pag oo oh, oh, pagka Pharma, pharma, pharma fisio. Pharma. Pagka failing, oh, pinapamake up ko sila. Oh. Send them to make up. Para oh, at least oh. pag eh, divide mo ang grade, pasado sila. Oo, oh, oh. yeah. Uh, Very nice. Yeah. So, so, iba naman ang mission ni Tita Linda. Tita Linda. <laughs> <laughs> a mother. To pass the student. <laughs> a mother, a, a, a wife. Wife mm. of of, of, a, of somebody, yeah. a, a person with different faith. Oh. Different faith, yeah. oh, kasi Muslim si Tito Mai. Oh, mm. and then oh, and then um, as a mother, as a mother, Tita Lin, no, um, you you have shared before your life as a mother, no, maliliit pang mga bata, no, na lahat lahat ng mga oh. anak is nasa ICU, <laughs> naka ICU, <laughs> naka experience oh. ng ICU. <laughs> My God, oh, lahat sila yun. yan. Hmm. So yun, ang mga challenges oh, in life na ito. That's why na keep on playing. <laughs> so, thank you very much. <laughs> so, we have, all of us have different callings. All of us have have, uh, have different mission. We Just like the 12 apostles, we are also chosen that's why I never uh, stop praying. Special, yeah. Okay, no. Prayers yeah, answered lahat. Yeah. Uh -oh. And uh, let's uh, continue praying for each other, no? Because we we already have experienced, no? Many many times, no? Na the power of uh, uh, communal prayer. Ito ngayon is uh, we give thanks and glorify the Lord, no? For the healing of our classmate Juno, Isena, yeah. oh. na naka intubate, naka intubate na ngayon is. Uh, okay, na siya, uh, no? Okay na siya. Ang, ang, ang oxygen saturation oxygen. is 98 na. 98 percent okay. which is a very, very good. So let's continue on praying for each other, praying for our healing, pray, <coughs> a prayer for praying for our protection and our personal intentions. Amen. 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 Megabilen for the closing prayer. Yes. Uh, Almighty God, Receive us in this morning, evening prayer gathering. We offer ourselves over to you in body, soul, and spirit for the blessing of this day. We thank you for those who have led us so well in this prayer gathering. We invoke your blessing upon us. Give us a still and quiet heart and mind. Amen. 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 And all together, please, glory be to the Father, glory to the, Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever, and ever shall be, shall be world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, Amen. the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night.